mark on the animal and you try to see if the animal knows that the mark is on itself. With primates, the way this is done is to anesthetize the animal and when it's asleep you put a mark on its forehead and then you let the animal wake up in the presence of a mirror. Now this mark does not Ha it's not gooey, so it doesn't have any tactile stimulus, and it's not smelly. So presumably the only way they can detect it is visually. A chimpanzee uh, wakes up and has a mark on its forehead and notices that mark. The question is, how does it investigate that mark with its hand? If it touches the mirror, then it thought that that mark was on another individual, the one it saw in the mirror. If it touches itself, then you know that it realized that what it saw in the mirror was itself, and it reached up to touch itself to investigate the mark. Now that mark test is what we also conducted on the dolphins. We put a zinc oxide mark on their side where we don't think they can see it, see it on them, and we put a mirror up inside the lab, a, a, a squeegee to mylar surface on the inside that makes a perfect mirror. And we wanted to see if the animals would use the mirror to look at that mark on their side. And the very first individual we tested told us the answer right away. And that's actually the mark test that we have in the footage there. So uh, what happens? What happened is the uh, the individual who was marked immediately came over to the mirror and he moved all around and in front of the mirror with his mark facing the mirror. He stayed there uh, doing these gyrations for maybe 15 or 20 seconds and then he left. Now this is one of the way that, ways that dolphins are very different than primates. Primates are very visual animals and any kind of mark they're very preoccupied with. They will tend to that mark maybe all day. Dolphins are very acoustic animals and much less visual. In the case of that individual he came over and did that and it was quite a while before he came to the mirror again. But the real question about his visit to the mirror is was he looking, using the mirror to look at his mark? Now anybody who looks at the videotape of him doing that, we videotape through a one-way mirror so we can see him very well. Most people would say he, he looks like he's looking at his mark. But as scientists, we have to take the more conservative approach of listening to the devil's advocate saying, well, posturing of the type that you see with him uh, possibly looking at his mark is also dolphin social behavior. And this is true. Because they don't have a hand where they can reach and touch their mark like a, a chimpanzee or a gorilla, the dolphin requires more experimentation to actually tease out whether that posturing was social or self-examination. And that's actually the purpose of getting into experiments with the television monitor. Martin wil de dolfijnen televisie laten kijken om te onderzoeken wat er gebeurt als ze zichzelf live op televisie zien. Maar daarvoor moest hij eerst weten of ze eigenlijk wel televisie kunnen kijken. Zien ze alleen flikkerend licht of is het echt voor ze? Linksonder zien we wat de dolfijnen zien. Een verzorgster komt met vis en gooit die in het water. De dolfijnen happen naar de vis in de veronderstelling dat ze gevoerd worden. Blijkbaar zien ze, net als mensen, televisie als een representatie van de werkelijkheid. Martin kon met een gerust hart de dolfijnen aan zijn televisie-experiment onderwerpen. We presented to them with what we call self-view television, where the camera is on the dolphin and what it sees on television is itself. So now the television is like a mirror. But it's actually a manipulable mirror. It's a mirror that we can manipulate for experimentation. 
So the first mode we call mirror mode, and that's real-time self-view. There's a connection between the dolphin's movements and what it sees on the monitor. It's just like a mirror, or it, it's very similar. Left and right are different, actually, but uh, it's very much like a mirror. And the, the behavior that we observe in mirror mode is that the dolphins often, uh, this is when the dolphins really often do a lot of head movements. They move their head in circles. Uh, they open their mouth a lot. They turn in circles on their long axis. Now, the way that we can manipulate this new type of mirror when it's a monitor is that we can suddenly turn it off and make it not a mirror anymore. And the way we do that is we put it into what we call playback mode. Let's say that a dolphin has been at the monitor and using it as a mirror and moving its head around and opening its mouth and so on. Now, suddenly, we turn that off and we play that back. Now it's not connected. Now when the dolphin makes a movement, uh, maybe in reaction to what it sees on television, the television does not do what it did. In other words, it's not a mirror anymore. So we were looking to see whether they acted the same or different in the two modes, in mirror mode and playback mode. And the interpretation would be as follows. If an animal knows that it's itself, it should react differently to the two modes. In, in the mirror mode, it should act like a, a mirror. And in playback mode, it should realize that it's not a mirror anymore and act differently, however it acts when it wa watches something being played back, but differently than a mirror. If an animal doesn't know that it's itself on the monitor, then it should continue to interact with its image on the monitor the same in both modes. Because in mirror mode, it might, you know, it might bite and the other one would bite back. Or in playback mode, it would still, you know, think it's another individual and still bite at it if it were biting. So the idea was that a self-aware animal would distinguish between the two modes and know that it was acting like a mirror when it was a mirror and not when it wasn't. This is what he sees on television. And he opens his mouth and moves his head all around. I think he's, you know, checking the contingency of his motion on TV. So the real question in terms of the television tests is when we disengage it, there's that rolling on the long axis, which they also like to look at. When we disengage it, does it stay the same? If he's treating this socially, he'll just keep on doing that once we disengage it and play back, let's say we play it back, he should continue to bite at it. You know, if it's some kind of social interaction with what he thinks is another dolphin. Well, here is, I think this is going to be the playback case. You can't make this out very well, but there, there's all that open mouth stuff being played back to him. Okay, now if it's social, he should be biting back. He's not. He's just watching it. Dolfijnen zien dus blijkbaar een duidelijke samenhang tussen hun eigen bewegingen en wat er op een monitor of in een spiegel te zien is. En als dat werkelijk zo is, dan volgt natuurlijk de hamvraag. Weten ze dat ze het zelf zijn? Oh, oké. Okay. De question does does contingency checking include or mean this is me? That's a very difficult question. Our research only goes far enough to show that the dolphins seem to be doing contingency checking. They do it in a mirror and they do it when the self-view television is in mirror mode and they drop it when it's in playback mode. Whether it means it's me is a harder thing to say. Contingency checking seems to be a characteristic necessary for determining that it's yourself in a mirror, but whether that means that you know it's yourself is it's it that's a more philosophical question it's it, our research at least answers the question 